Hi guys, it's Riley here, and I am super happy to tell you guys that even in lieu of last week's video, I have been regressing more. I've finally been able to sit down and actually regress, and it feels so good. So today I am going to do a little Q&A with you all. I asked you over on my regression spam Instagram, crayons and pencils, what you wanted to know. And I have the questions here on my phone, and I'm going to read them off to you and answer some of them. If you want to participate in future Q&As, make sure you follow my regression spam Instagram at crayons and pencils and subscribe to this channel because I think for my next q and I'm going to be asking it over on the community tab because I think that would be fun. Without further ado, let's get into it. What is your favorite memory with your daddy? I'd have to say one of my favorite memories is our first like official date. It was for my birthday, not last year, but the year before. And we went to build a bear and it was super fun. And I was in my Captain Adorable onesie and we just had a really great time. And that's when I adopted Sprout, one of my stuffies. And it was just, it was really fun and really good. And I look back very fondly on that memory. Do you like new things when regressing or things you liked as a bio kid more. I'd say both, honestly. I love the newer kids' toys, but I also love toys from when I was a bio kid. And the same goes with TV shows. Like, I love TV shows like Daniel Tiger and Sophia the First. But I also watch a lot of what I watched as a bio kid, like classic Care Bears and the original Muppet Babies. But I'd say I like both of them equally. Like, I consume both old content and new content and old toys and new toys and all that kind of stuff equally. So I can't really pick one above the other. Are there differences in your age regression now compared to one year ago? I'd say yeah, there is. I talked about this a little bit in my last video, but age regression used to be the only part of my identity that I really identified with. And instead of it just being a coping mechanism or a trait of mine, it encompassed my entire being. And now I feel like I've grown a little bit to understand that my regression is very special to me and while it is a part of me, it's not all of who I am. So now I can enjoy the adult things that I like more like knitting and reading, whereas before I just wanted to be regressed 24-7 because that was the only time I was remotely happy. And now I can be happy when I'm doing the adult things that I like doing. And with that being said, I'm not as much of a 24 for seven regressor as I was before. I used to be somewhat regressed all the time, but now it's an in and out thing. Sometimes I'm regressed, sometimes I'm not, and that's okay. I'm still, for the most part though, an involuntary regressor, meaning that I don't choose when or how I regress. If your age read could be represented by an animal, what would the animal be? This is a really hard question, and I'm not 100% sure how to answer it. For my pet regression or critter hearted, or whatever you call it, I identify as a pup, but I honestly think that my regression would be also described as a pup. And that's because when I'm regressed, I'm usually super energetic. I need lots and lots of love and attention. And if you're not paying attention to me, I'll wreck all your stuff. That's not 100% true, but that's kind of what it feels like to me. So even though I am a pup in my pet regression, I feel like being a pup or a puppy would be the most accurate thing to describe my age regression as well. Is your regression similar to your bio childhood or is it completely different? I have blocked out most of my bio childhood. There are multiple reasons for this. I might make a video on it in the future, but there will probably be a trigger warning on it. So I would say that my regression is almost completely different from my bio childhood. I was really miserable as a bio kid and I don't remember a lot of the stuff that I did. I remember the shows that I watched and stuff, but other than that, I don't really remember how my childhood went. So with with me being able to regress, it's kind of like I can recreate my own childhood and relive it a way that I wasn't able to when I was a bio kid. So I would say that my age regression is completely different than what my bio childhood was like. What are some age read items currently on your wish list? They recently came out with a new Big Shield Passy. You know the Big Shield Passies that are clear and have glitter in them? I have four of them that I really love. I've wanted them to come out with a silver one for a long time and they finally came out with a silver one. I don't have the money to get it right now. I haven't been able to get it and I'm super, super sad, but 
hopefully soon I will be able to get the clear big shield that has the silver glitter in it. I really want it. It's really cute. And of course I'm going to take the nipple out and replace it with the good teat. Have you ever gotten hate at school or lost friends for being in the community? Yes and no. I wasn't super out and open as an age regressor mainly because I didn't have the name for it when I was in high school. So I never got bullied in school per se, but as I left school, in addition to losing friends because of my mental health, I also started to be more open about being an age regressor and some of my friends were well, people I thought were friends were really weirded out and uncomfortable with that and they kind of stopped talking to me, which kind of sucks, but in the long run, looking back, I really didn't need them. If they were going to be that judgmental towards me for something that I love and for something that helps me so much, who needs them? Have you ever introduced Adri to someone to help them cope with stuff that's happening? Yes, I have. I've introduced it to a couple of my online friends, but I also get a lot of messages from you guys, subscribers here on YouTube or followers on my Instagram saying that I helped introduce age regression to you and that it's helped you so much. And that means the world to me. The fact that I could help introduce such a good coping mechanism for you guys that you wouldn't have found otherwise means so much to me. And I am so, so grateful that I have the ability to show people and share this with people. Because I really do believe that for a lot of people, age regression can help them cope with trauma, it can help them process things, it can help them deal with mental health, mental illness, stress, and the fact that I know that some of you watching this are watching this and are regressing mainly because I opened up the world to you really is such a crazy thing to think about. Do you think you'll ever get to a point in your life where you stop regressing? Love you, Riley. I love you too. And honestly, I really don't know. I thought for a while there because I was going through a regression rut that I wasn't gonna be able to regress anymore and the thought of that made me really sad. But because I got sad when thinking about that, it kind of made sense to me that no, right now is just not the time to regress. But I think I'll be able to regress in the future. But honestly, I don't know. Right now, regression is still a big part of my life and it's something that helps me tremendously. It's something that I thoroughly enjoy and I honestly, looking into the future, don't see myself ever not regressing. But then again, I don't know what the future holds. When I grow up a little bit more, I could feel the need to stop regressing and that's totally okay. Like I said, my regression is 99% of the time involuntary so it's just something my brain does and it's not something I do by active choice. So I don't know if that's ever going to go away. If it does, that's okay. If it doesn't, that's also okay. But right now, I don't know. Tips for regressors who no longer have a carer. Also, I'd love to see a onesie video, ILI. ILI too, and that onesie video is coming, I promise. I think for regressors who don't have a carer or don't want a carer, a big thing can be structure. So maybe set up a daily schedule for yourself of what you're gonna do, when you're gonna do it, or set up like a little sticker chart reward system for yourself where if you do this, this, and that for however many days and you fill up your chart, you get a little reward, whether that's a bad and a face mask or buying a new toy. Whichever you have the ability to do and whatever you want to do can be a reward for something like that. And it can help you provide more incentive to yourself to get things done and stay on top of things. You can also set up like a list of helpfuls for yourself. So things that you want to live by and you want to do without necessarily have them be enforced by someone else, you know? I might end up doing a video a little bit in the future for regressors who don't have carers. What's the worst thing to you about being a regressor? I think for me part of the worst thing is that it is involuntary and sometimes I regress in situations where I really can't or shouldn't be regressing and it's not really something I can control so that makes it difficult when I'm out in a public situation or in a situation where I really need to be an adult and my brain is that of a two-year-old. It's hard to deal with but luckily my daddy is usually there with me and and he'll help me and help me manage to adult as best I can until we can get home and I can be small. But I think another hard part is people not understanding, like people looking at it from the outside and automatically assuming it's kink when they're two completely separate things or that I'm doing it for attention or I'm doing it 
solely because I want to do it, which are not true. That That's just not why I regress. I have regressed for so long, so many years, and for a long time I didn't have any social media about it. It was something I kept to myself. The only reason I started social media is because I wanted to meet other like-minded people. So I think those are some of the worst things about being a regressor. The majority of the stuff is good though. How does your family feel about your regression? At first they were kind of weirded out by it. They didn't really know what it was or what it did for me. But really quickly as they saw how happy it was making me, how it made me be able to manage my mental health more, and as I sat down with them and explained to them what age regression was, why I used it, they started to understand it. Especially after my therapist supported my regression. When I lived back with my parents, I was completely open about my regression. They knew I regressed, they knew I had baby toys, they knew I had onesies, they knew I wore diapers, and that's not necessary for everyone, but I felt the need to not be hiding things from my parents. And they were pretty chill with it. They didn't really have any problems. I think their thought process was like, as long as I'm not hurting anybody else and not doing anything illegal, they didn't really care what I was doing. And it is on my list. I have the video all planned out to do a video about talking to people about your age regression. So if you're thinking about talking to your parents or your friends about it, I will have a video coming out about that soon. Alright you guys, that is it. Thank you so, so much for sending in all of these questions. I had such a good time sitting in here and answering them all for you. If you want to see more videos from me, you be sure to subscribe to my channel because I post one new video a week on this channel. And you can check out my two other channels, my main channel and my vlog channel, which are linked down in the description so you can get even more content from me. You can follow me on Instagram at Riley's Little Space for my main slash aesthetic photos or at Crayons and Pencils for my more active spam account. I love you guys a whole heckin' lot and I will see you soon. Bye!